Tessie. Yes. The life of a Thai gunman is very different from a gunman in a Hollywood film. What's the difference? The gunman in a Hollywood film is fucking handsome. The gun is so cool. He can shoot in any posture. Somersault shoot. Turn back shoot. Even while banging he can shoot. But a Thai gunman is very different. It's not the same thing. Then what is it? Look at me, yeah? The gun is as old as its as its user. Don't even think of a somersault. What kind of gun do you use? AK-47. Why is that? I can't shoot accurately. So I depend on burst shots. And the AK is suitable for this kind of a style. What made you join this field? One senior gunman had invited me over there. Do you remember the name? Pei Uzi. Do you know that? Yes. Pai Uzi, the Eagle of Chan. The killer who works only on Friday. A fortune teller told him. A killer who was born on Tuesday. But if he wanted to kill then, he must do it only on a Friday. The sky outside is more beautiful than in the jail, don't you think? I used to be there once. I know how you feel. Okay, tell me, do we know each other? You don't know anything about me. But I know you very well. Pei, O.C., the Eagle of Chan. What's your gang? Do I look like a gunman? So you are not? Not at all. I am a knife man. Tell me how's mom. May I talk with her? She's waiting for you.
My dear, you are police. You must be strong. Mom, I don't want to lose you, all right? I must pass away one day for sure. The only thing that I regret is that I can't see you as a bride. <gasps> then I shall marry tomorrow. Is it the captain, is it? You want me to marry the captain, don't you? Why do you do that, dear? You don't really love him, do you? Because I love you so much, Mom. <laughs> I can't let you do that, dear. I can't. Mom! <laughs> Thou, my love, please deliver this letter for me. But mom, to whom? I want you to deliver this, this letter to him. You Thou... don't have to talk now. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Superb Thasai, he is not the officer. He is the inmate. Inmate? Yes, but he was released just a while ago. Uh, Miss Nurse. Uh, uh. How can I be here? <sighs> A woman brought you here. She also left this for you. Who is she? Maybe your relative. <sighs> Oh, damn it! Why do you just make an apologize now? Just this time! Why don't you wait until I die? What are you thinking? My mom wants me to marry and have a family in an ordinary way. You can break me up and marry an ordinary man. I understand. You don't understand, bitch. What don't I understand? You don't understand how much I love you. If I don't love you, I would have to marry the captain already.
even though how much you drink. Mom will never wake up. Are you awake? I left my mobile on the bed. Please bring it for me. Da! Help! Da! <gasps> What's happening? A man tried to rape me and he heard dad too. He he just left. Take care of dad. What are you doing here? You have to sketch the culprit and not a comedian. This is Tef Poi Nam. But he's similar to Tef Poi Nam. Is this all right? Oh yes. <laughs> Very good job. Dow, distribute it to every police station. A bold man like this, I think it's not so hard to find.
What is all this? Who could it be? Who hang all these blades and swords? Hey! Who are you, man? I'm the owner of this house. I've been living here for years. How can you just walk in and claim that you're the owner of this place, huh? You think I'm a fool? What? So, you live in my house for years? <coughs> this is not your house. If you're the owner, then where were you all these years? Damn it. I... What I? I? What I? I... I was imprisoned, okay? You were imprisoned? <laughs> Who was your dad, huh? Was he a westerner that you're speaking English to me? Fool, you fool! My dad is not a westerner, but I can speak English a little. <laughs> Please don't make him so angry, yeah? That sock leg is really... Quite a crazy guy. I think you should live in this temple now. What do you say? And for your house, I shall speak to Soklik and negotiate with him. Do you think you can talk with him? What do you say? He would often ask me for food. I think I can do that without difficulty. Uncle Ong? A man has come to see you. Hello, Wong. Doing good? Hmm, hello, Pe Uzi. Since how long are you here? I just arrive and then report to you immediately. Hmm. The Dragon Gang is dissolved. I haven't accepted any job for years now. So, why running a restaurant makes more money, doesn't it? No. Since a crackerjack like Pe Uzi had been imprisoned, no one has contacted me. And furthermore, there are so many more gangs nowadays. Do you know any... any gang? I mean a gang having a knife man? Why knife men? I've been stabbed by a... a knife man outside of the jailhouse. Uh, I think I know one man. His... His name is Lek Bovee, but I don't think it's him. He went insane from taking drugs. What's his name again? Lek Bowie, but people call him Soklek. Hmm. Soklek. It's not him then. I've already met this Soklek guy. Actually, in my own house. Where did you meet him? He have occupied my house. When I went there, he tried to stab me too. But I was lucky and I survived. He is a lunatic guy. Uh, so where do you stay now? Uh, at Kaije Temple. Pei Yuzi, try to think since you were born, who are your rivals from the Criminal Records Division? Petch? Yes? Do you see this? Is this him? Yes! But how can you find him? You have told me that you will not do this, this job again, haven't you? Tell me, how long did you live in the jail? Is it not enough? These kinds of tools... Well, can you leave this for me?
Are you happy sitting in front of the other's house? Tell me. Okay. Let me ask you frankly. Tell me. Are you an idiot? Huh? <laughs> How's it? When can I return to the team? Don't you like your current job? It's not what I really want to be. But being the SWAT, you must be able to shoot a man. If I've shot someone, can I return to the team? Hey, you know what? I have a story to tell you. I went to the club the other day. I met a police barricade on the way back. They wanted to test my urine. I could not pee, so they used the tool on me. But after that, I have a big problem. No, no. My problem is not having positive drug test, but my problem is I could not pee so far. But the shit is the other story. My shit are scattered all over the road, you know. <laughs> How long do you Can use you it, Dirty Pig? Wait, I'll call you back. I have something to settle over here. Who do you call Dirty Pig Ugly Baldy? No. Uh... What do you point to? If you can't wait, then use the other idea. No, no, hold on, sis. Uh, I'm... Who is your sister? I don't have a brother having such an ugly face. Got it? Uh, I think that you insult me too much. <laughs> too much? Really too much? How is that? Calling me a dirty pig is not too much, you think? Uh, are you really hurt being called a dirty pig? Oh, really, really hurt? Uh, I think that a dirty pig is not that hurt. Mm. For you, it must be fucking dirty pig. Since I was born, no one has ever called me a fucking dirty pig. No one has ever called me an ugly baldy too. You bitch, <laughs> dirty pig. Fuck you. You must regret. Hmm, what a bad day. Oh, she was an incredible bitch. Ghosts haunt me in broad daylight. You say ghost? Oh, you pipe! <laughs> First of all, I would like to apologize for leaving you away without explaining any reason. I know that you must be angry and hate me. But to leave you, I did not do it for my own self. I did it for my child's sake. Please don't get angry with me for not telling you. Even though you would have known it, I think that it would not change anything at all. Especially you. 
your own self. You wouldn't have changed at all. For me, I can be a gunman's wife. But what about my child? My child can't be a gunman's child. Wow! 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 You're so dramatic. For me, I can be a gunman's wife. I can be anything for you. Are you a gunman or what? Please, handsome, give me that letter. Being a gunman, why don't you have a gun? If you are a gunman, then you have to have something like this. Look, I'll show you. You have to have something like this. Frankly, handsome, what do you want? Tell me, what do you want? Hmm? Now, come on, apologize in front of me. Apology? That's right. Mr. Brad Pitt, what did I do to you that you need an apology from me? <laughs> now you have some good eyes. Oh, then please, please accept my apology. How's that, sis? Just an apology is not enough. You will have to bow down at my feet. Only then I'll forgive you. What do you say? I'm, I'm afraid that that is impossible, kid. How's that, sis? Ugly Baldy! If you don't bow down at my feet today, then eat my brother's feet instead. What will he do? What do you have to say now? Okay, okay, whatever. But I'm, um, I'm sorry. I will not bow at your feet. Fucking dirty shitty pig. <laughs> you make me cry a lot to What's up, sis? I'm so hurt. This fucking dirty pig is already hurt. You call me a fucking dirty shitty pig this time. <laughs> you bastard! Are you calling me? I insult him! You damn bastard! <laughs> May I help you? It's okay. Joy, my staff. He saw that you were lying unconscious on the beach. What happened? Long time no see, my son. How are you? So let's go for exercise today. Do you believe in destiny?
<laughs> what is it? Why are you crying? I don't want him to die. <laughs> no, he's not going to die yet. He's about to die. But you don't have to spoil it for all of us. <laughs> Why do you outcry? <laughs> you have seen it ten times. <laughs> you have seen it so many times. It's time for the climax scene. Where have you been? I've gone to Thailand. Why are you so very? Do you remember that homeless guy? He died. I was afraid you won't be able to remember this place. Ah! <gasps> oh, you're so die-hard. What do you want? I don't understand. Tell us what do you want? You old man, what's wrong? If you return my wallet, letter and glasses, I'll forget what happened yesterday. Maybe I'll think about, about forgiving you. Hey, you old man. If you return home right now, then I'll forget everything that you said right now, okay? Go away. Let me tell you something. I usually don't kill without being paid. <laughs> But for us, killing someone is a very usual thing. Hmm? Don't tell me that that's a gun. It's a gun. What do you see? Who? I think that it's a prank. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, an action. Good afternoon, all you lovely people in Chantaburi. I. I'm Meng Sayid. I would like to volunteer myself to serve all of you if I can be your representative and work at the Ministry of the Interior. I am very strict on the business time of the pub. Uh, is that okay, Miss Jill? I can't understand you at all. Can you speak clearer? It's as good as I can do. What is unclear? Tell me which word is unclear. But I don't think it's a problem. In the TV industry, even the ministers cannot speak clearly. And no one even bats an eye on that. Because when you have the money, then people can be bought. I mean the Thai people. Thai people what? Thai people can be bought. No, not every Thai people can be bought. But almost, if they didn't, didn't sell their wood, I would not be a candidate here. Whatever you are saying is the truth. Then why the fuck? You are trying to practice. What? What the fuck? Fuck you, do you understand? Hey! You control your tongue. I've paid you. Who do you think you are? A Thai who is not greedy for money. Don't you want money? Keep your money to buy the others. Hey! 
Then how can you pay for a sex change operation? It's my business. What? I... I just said the truth. And she behaved as if she couldn't accept it. <laughs> What's up, man? You said that you killed Pei. Yes, I've killed him. I stabbed him myself. Well, he's alive. This is what he did. Why did he kill these guys? I sent them to fix him. How can I know that he is Pei Newsy? Tell me. Uzi! <laughs> they are not different. It's their bad luck. How the hell do you summon me? I summon you to complete your task. Then where the hell should I go? Use your brain. What is the question? He has a house. He has a house over here. He should be at his house. And don't you dare fail again this time. Go. Showing off again. Doing it for what? Hey, 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 hey. I'm sorry. Because of this. So you mean you can't kill him? Eight by five. POC, you will not be lucky like that day. Oh, lots of blades. What a fucking movie. Don't move. What do you want here, huh? Tell me! Let me tell you, your eyes have been severely hit by something. I guess so. And this causes serious farsightedness uh, to your eyes. So, is there any way, I mean a treatment to cure it? With the eye operation. Operation? It is similar to a LASIK operation. How much... How much will it cost for the operation? <laughs> 90,000. Why are you crying? Thrilled, aren't you? Fucking thrilled, hearts. Where did you get hurt? Tell me. And my nipples? Fuck. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Ah, ah, <laughs> ah. Aren't you thrilled now? Let me go now. Unless you want a painful death. Familiar with this ball? Your dad's ball. Mm -hmm. You're gonna insult my dad. You don't ah, insult ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Now, tell me what is this? Your mom's ball! Alright, you're gonna insult my mom too? <laughs> <laughs> One more time now, what is this? Snuggle ball, obviously! Wrong answer, it's called a punch ball. Punch ball? For boxer? Punch fiction! What the fuck is punch fiction?
Freeze! This is the police! I can't... Oh. Oh. Miss Dahl? The one who is banged is called Jack the Reaper. He is needed by the police. And another one? He's quite an insane. People call him Sock Lake. But he calls himself Lake Bowie. Now he's sent for analysis at the asylum. May I know what are you doing here at Chantaburi, when you work in Bangkok? Uh, I'm on vacation so I travel around a lot. Where do you stay? At a hotel in downtown. May I give you a lift? It's okay, I have a car. Please excuse me. Thank you for your report. I want to know what mom has written in the letter. What if he's your relative? However, he's my dad's murderer. Furthermore, he also tried to rape you. Whoever he is, he must pay for his debt. Can he shoot a man now? What is it? I have a job for you. You have said that Dragon Gang is dissolved, haven't you? It's an old customer. Picture of the target. An election campaigner. Are you short-sighted? The short-sighted won't do this. I am far-sighted. Really, it is. It is still blurred for me. <laughs> then find a pair of glasses. I'll do it after this job. It's okay, okay. Standing here is good enough. Come on, come here. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Come on, come here. Don't be shy. And some gift is not a shameful thing. Hey, you two, bring your uncle here. Come on, make it fun. And be tender. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come please, on, please, please come. come on. Please, yeah, uh, yeah. Don't hey, be shy. Yeah. Come on, come, come on. on. I'll yeah. go later. Come on. It's yeah, he's right. calling you. I can walk. Yeah. yeah. Uh, come on, look, come on. let's go. Come hey, on, leave me, leave me. Don't be shy. It's all right. No. What are you doing? You don't need to be shy. <laughs> sit down, sit down, oh, sit down. Right yeah. Oh, your legs aren't so good, aren't they? Ah, uh, what happened with your face? <laughs> easy, uncle, easy. Okay, uncle. Do you remember the 
the number that you should vote on the election day. <laughs> Baldi! I mean you! Number two? Number two? Oh, your voice is not loud at all. Hmm, ah, uh, but it's okay. Every single voice of vote is valuable and worth some reward. Hey, give him an envelope. What is this? There is money inside. For what? This money is for your vote given to number two. Receive it. This is vote bank, isn't it? Anyone do this, uncle? It's way of high politics. Are you high? Tell me, are you high? Huh? Yes, high. But a high who doesn't sell his vote. Mm. Oh, Baldy! You are too much. Okay, uncle. Do you know that who we are? Yes. You are low-life election campaigners, minions of the corrupted politician. Huh? The politicians buy votes and make a big load of national debt. They do mega project and claim that it's for the national development, but they are in fact the dirty cheaters. And when will people like you extinct from this country? <laughs> you know what? You are a burden to this country. Actually, a shame for this country. Do you think that you can make any change in this country? What do you think you are, huh? In my field, I'm called Payuzi. And I cannot change any fucking thing. Hey, he's a gunman! Come on, shoot him! Shoot him! Useless! Let me do it! Cheers! Cheers for what? For the new politics of Chantaburi! Yay, cheers! <laughs> <laughs> ah. mm. Hey, we. Yes? On Mr. Meng's birthday party, you... You can't sing just one or two songs. Do you understand that? Do it extremely. Understand? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll sing every song in my albums. What kind of a song do you sing? Tell me, yeah? Folk or pop? Probably a rap. Rap? I don't know anything about rap. Why the hell don't you know rap, Chief Doom? What is it? Well, I can show you how to rap. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mag! Why the hell are you here? Why? Why can't I be here? You're just a messenger! Do you think you are my baby nephew? Um, uh, uh, isn't he your nephew? My nephew cannot be as ugly as him! Uh, <laughs> that's it! I notice he only eating and talking to nobody here! Hey! How can you sit right here? Why? Who does this seat belong to? Do you know that this place is for celebs? Fucking celeb? Hey you, watch your mouth! Do you know me? And you, do you know me? Oh, I'm Chief Dumb. I am Mac Messenger. Oh, 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 oh. Mister? Uh, 
Mr. Mag, why are you here? Please tell me that. What is your business here, yeah? Oh. Nuad is killed now. He looks so familiar to me. Really familiar to me. Well, that's because he looks like Typo Gam. Uh, no wonder, but he looks really familiar to me. I've seen him somewhere. Hey, listen to me. You should be very careful. What Why? is it? Last time he's dissolved the ghost faced gang. Now he'll kill your election campaigner. I'm sure that he's already knew that you sent a killer to kill him. <laughs> For my LASIK. Hello? I want to tell you something. I have found Pei Uzi. Doctor? Yes, you told me that. Uh, I can go back home after the treatment, haven't you? Let me tell you your case. It is quite special. I think so. You should wait until it gets dark. If your eyes are exposed to the sunlight, there, there will be a problem for you to uh, see things. And you might face a problem and I suggest that you sleep here for a while and you take some rest. <laughs> and till then I will send a nurse to wake you up when it is time for you to go. Alright? Doctor? Yeah. Uh, uh, tell me. When can... When can I take away these eye patches? Oh, tomorrow is okay. Uh, it's it's enough for today. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hey, listen to me. Listen to me. Close, uh, 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 close the clinic right now. Come on, come on, quickly. Come on, close it. Does that hurt? Yes, it does. Mister Meng has a lot of good men. Why doesn't he use them? He trusts Pale. He doesn't want to use his AK-47. But where is he now? I'll send you myself. Riding with you, right? Yes. <laughs> Dream on. But how do you go? We do not have much time. Okay. I shall go with you. But don't use that trick again, okay? All right. Uh, uh. Yeah. Uh, oh. Helmet. Where is my helmet? Oh my god. Where is it? My helmet. Where is it? It's over here. Where? Can't you see it? Hey! <laughs> Do you think that they know each other? Well, it's possible. Because they both... both disappear together. Should we send someone to kill them both? What do you think? Just to make sure. <laughs> make sure? Do you think that there's any gunman brave enough to deal with them? What, what What did you say? I think I speak very clearly, you son of a bitch! Look, I don't understand you. I mean no one. No one in their right mind will ever dare to fight them! Oh. I'm acquainted with a man. He's known to have no fear. I have never had an issue with him. You know, Mister's gonna enter the political stage. Chief Jun, that he used to try to kill, will become his ally. 
He doesn't want to have any potential problem. And he tries his best to clean his evil past. Now it's only you. Only you are left. I see. What about you? Don't you afraid having conflict with him? Well, I'm afraid I cannot return your favor. Thank you very much, Pell. I suggest that you hide somewhere. He will not, not spare you. Pell. What? How is Namwan? When she grows, Dad becomes less important than a hubby. People in this job are not suitable to have a child, but you have none, that's a good thing. Godspeed. It's just so delicious. This place is famous. How is it that you know where I really stay? I used to work in investigation unit. Really? I'm really sorry for your mom and dad. Thank you so much. You've invested and known everything about me. Not yet. There's much more left. At least as if now I don't know your intention of coming here to see me. Henshin! Do you know that uh, what I have uh, done to him? I have made him ultra short-sighted and that's why he can't see further than one foot and uh, he can't bother you right now. You know, uh, I have done that to him. Don't you think about that? <laughs> How did you join this field? One senior gunman invited me. Do you know that? When you kill a man, how does it feel? I don't feel so good. Do you follow religions? You're not insulting me, are you? No, I ain't. I just wish to know that. Is there any religion that you follow? Christianity. <laughs> what did you do with my eyes? Can I take a picture of you? That's right. So then you have to make a, a pair of eyeglasses. Not LASIK this time. La, uh, oh, la, LASIK is uh, useless for you. Uh, 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 please uh, la, leave me. They hired many hunters for one prey, but this one's mine. Oh, Christ. Mark? Go! 
cowards! Come to fight me, face to face! You're coming too! Hello, Captain. There is a fight between Mr. Meng's men and a gunman named Pei Yuzi. This doctor who had escaped the scene reported us. Hello, doctor. Hello. Why are you here? Took a shit in the toilet. Then I heard the gunfire, so I went out to check. It's Pei Yuzi. I know him. I used to do his case. Are there any hostages? No, Captain. All staff and patients are all chased away. Does he have any request? No, Captain. What should we do? Should we break in? No, 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 not yet. We should know his intention first. Dao! Dao! Bullets for Uzi, that's all I have. Want some more guns? I have one M16 left with me. No thanks. What good of Uzi? It's not so good. But uh, when I use the other gun, I feel like my shots are really hit. That's it. Bang has a lot of minions. These bullets, they may not be enough for him. It's okay. For Meng, I... I need just one. Death of these three groups roughly in the same time have one thing in common. They all died by the same kind of a bullet. And especially, they are all Mr. Wang's men. Can you guess the cause? Tell me, can you? No, I can't. But if I have to guess, I guess that the next one that Pei Yuzi will attack Mr. Meng's men. Why do you really guess like that? In the upcoming Mr. Meng's 60th birthday party, Chief Dumb's men are railed to protect Mr. Meng's with all their might. Pei will wet his pants if he sees this. <laughs> Can you manage to send me in the party, please? Isn't it better to let the local police handle it? Come on, please let me. This case is... I consider it personal. Payuzi!
Cheers! Take this. Let What? me ask you one thing, Mr. Meng. What are you saying? Why did you send assassins to kill Pei Uzi? That Pei Uzi. What did he do making you hate him that much? Hey, Meng, where is he? Behind the pillar! Which one? Tell me! The one in front of the counter! Chief Jun! Do you want to know why Meng wants to kill me? Why? He wants to shut me up. For he used to hire me to kill you. Do you know that? You have no reason to help him. Don't give me that suspicious look. Pei. Uzi. Hey, Pei! You've got such a big mouth! Now are you okay? <laughs> My dad's murderer stood in front of me. But I can't really shoot him. Have you ever shot anyone? Yes, for I'm a police. Me too. I'm a police that... I deserve to be kicked. Out of the team, you know. I think you don't realize yet that why you can't shoot him. I don't really know. Because you're a police. Not a murderer. The next time, I suggest you don't shoot him with emotion. Instead, you consider it as your duty. There is no next time anymore. He goes away now, you know. If Mr. Ming is still alive, I think that Pei Si must be knowing this thing. You think he's still alive? Please gather all the gunmen in this country, no matter how many relatives. He, he, he has killed them all. Kill, uh, kill all. Delete his bloodline. Just delete them. Oh, and he can't live in the same world. Oh, oh, kill all.
Ong! What has happened? Who did this to you? Oh, uh, Meng. Meng? Bullets, Uzi. Give. Mr. Ming's wife transferred him to his house for the safety concern. How are these police really? The superior sends them to secure him. I have to do my duty. Hey, <coughs> open the gate. Come on. It, 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 it's locked up. from inside. Come on. Hey. It is too high. Hey, open the gate now. Come on. Check the other side. Hey, op <laughs> no, 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 no. What is written in the letter? Why did you kill my dad?
Hello, Noom. Listen to me, doll. I really want to talk to you. Yes, tell me. What is it? I have heard that you have resigned. <sighs> yes, it's true. Why? I I don't think I suit this job. It's not what I really am. What will you do next? I still don't know. I have one question. What is it? Are you a lesbian? Why do you ask me? I really like you. Okay, I like you too. Do you? Yes, I do. But I am a lesbian. And uh, I have a lesbian lover. Okay, Cap. If you come by Chantaburi, please visit me sometimes. Yes. Hey, where did you pack your car? Happy birthday, Patch. I don't know what to give you. have something in your mind I am Subhapta Sai. I am the one being in your house on that day. But what is happening is not what you think. Yes, I am the one killing your father. But it's not my intention. I never wanted to kill your father. I never ever think to hurt your loved one. I can never do that. What I did is trying to protect the one you love from a man you call dad. And the fact is I went there because I want to see I want to see the life of my daughter, the daughter that I have no chance to know or raise as a decent father should do the only daughter born from the woman i love the only woman with the name of wang duan she was your mother and my beloved wife wang duan <laughs> 